I suspect that there was a uh, that there was a, a shaving device of some sort involved uh, on uh, recovery number three, number 66. Well, those are the uh, men who uh, performed a vital role in the recovery of the spacecraft. Uh, and up here on the hangar deck, we're still waiting, uh, as you are down below, Ron Nesson, for that telephone call from the president. Okay, you want to bring the others? flight deck uh, here on the hangar deck of the aircraft carrier Yorktown uh, we're still standing by we've just been chatting with the uh, crew of recovery number three and uh, we've been waiting for a word on the uh, on the call uh, from President Johnson at the White House uh, there's an air of relaxation here on the hangar deck of the Yorktown now that the uh, great moment has passed the, uh, the astronauts are safely back on board the carrier uh, adhering to an almost perfect schedule. They arrived on deck uh, just about 15 minutes ago, which was the time uh, set uh, when the carrier uh, sailed from uh, the West Coast. Uh, it was the time uh, planned well in advance for them to arrive on the deck of the carrier, about 55 minutes after first light. The uh, recovery itself went like clockwork. Uh, there wasn't a flaw anywhere along the way. In fact, the spacecraft, in a remarkable demonstration of sharpshooting, came down within sight of the aircraft carrier. Uh, it's light clearly visible off uh, to the port side and slightly to the, uh, to the uh, rear, to the stern of the carrier, at about uh, a mile and a half distance. And uh, from then on, no troubles at all. The astronauts are back on deck. They're back uh, down at sick bay now, going through the first stages of their medical examination. Obviously, they're all in fine health. Now down to Ron Nesson outside sick bay. This is Ben James, the uh, chief uh, information officer for the space agency aboard. Ben, you've just been in the hospital. How are they? They're fine. Dr. Jernigan says they look to be in good shape. And everything, they're now starting off. They've just gone into their different phases of medical. They're beginning that, and sometime soon they'll have breakfast. We're expecting the presidential phone call in about 10 minutes now. Morning. ...to congratulate Then to call your wives in Houston and to express our gratitude to, to them for providing the strength and the inspiration to you men that will permit you to accomplish this great feat. But we know that all the engineering marvels in the world could not take away one whit of our excitement and admiration for the three of you that were out there in the vastness of space. If I could have exchanged thoughts with you, I was going to ask you whether it felt better going, coming down or going up. Uh, and to have you tell me some of your experiences, because you've seen uh, what man has really never seen before. You've taken us, taken all of us, all over the world into a new era. And my thoughts this morning went back to more than 10 years ago in the Pernalis Valley when we saw Sputnik uh, uh, racing through the skies, and we realized that America had a big job ahead of it. It gave me so much pleasure to know that you men uh, have done a large part of that job. So uh, we rejoice that you are well, and we send you congratulations from all of your fellow countrymen and from uh, all uh, peace-loving people in the world. Well done. Board 
the Yorktown. Uh, for uh, unexplained reasons, we did not get our cameras uh, down below uh, to see the astronauts as they received that message from the president. It did not sound as if there was any dialogue, however. The uh, president uh, started uh, before the time when we thought that he would be in touch uh, with the astronauts, and uh, we did not hear any indication that they answered back. It uh, was uh, uh, just a statement, a very heartfelt, and very warm one from the president to the astronauts. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 8 will continue in a moment. And apparently wanted to look spiffy for his arrival and uh, during the very brief helicopter flight from the capsule to the aircraft carrier he shaved or at least that's what the space agency would have us believe Testing. It's like an old war movie I saw one time. Yeah. Uh, beautiful picture. This is Ron Nesson with Dallas Townsend aboard the aircraft carrier Yorktown in the Pacific. The ship is steaming under cloudy skies toward Hawaii. In about 20 minutes, the three Apollo astronauts, their doctors, 
and some of the space officials aboard will be catapulted off the deck of the carrier in airplanes for the flight to Hawaii, the first lap on their flight home to Houston. One of the planes carrying space officials already has taken off from the deck. The other two airplanes are being rolled into position. Right now, the astronauts are winding up a brunch with the ship's chief petty officers, who have a reputation for eating better than anybody else aboard. And the menu for the breakfast or brunch had their choice underlined. assorted salads, sweet rolls, and coffee. 